Time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? Where we ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. And Dr. Lori joins us now. And Dr. Lori, I thought summertime meant less items would be heading your way because viewers were out on vacation, but we've gotten so many in recent weeks. No. Why would you think that? <laughs> everyone, everyone is thinking. Nope, he has not been to the yard sales. I'm the slow to the hints there, but I see the table full of jewelry in front of you. And speaking of jewelry, did you know that in a broken... Oh, how about it? That's See, really that is exactly why when you stop at a yard sale or you're in a flea yep. market, that's why you should like root through everything and really get a good look at stuff. And bring that's Dr. Right, Lori with right. you. That's right, that's right. And of course, and be here on Tuesdays and check out my YouTube channel. We're going to find you the bargains. I think Heather and I would look very good in Viking jewelry, right, why Heather? I would love that. And yeah. hey, we may look good sitting in these chairs that we have from Lauren, too. She's in a. Okay. And would but these be used at like a dining room table? Could we expect more of them and there's just two of them? Very much. Oftentimes there's a cushion on top of a cane seat. Yeah. Okay. My marker. Well, like, I kinda... make a rule. I don't sit on a cane seat. You know? My marker <laughs> has seen better days. Oh, okay. really? <laughs> okay. What did you say? I, I want to. I, I don't know. I, maybe I went high, but I said $200. I said $125. $150 is what they're worth. Ooh, so wow. Good job, Heather. Okay. All right, next up is a child tea set. And this very much. Oftentimes, there's a cushion on top of a cane seat. Yeah. Okay. My marker. Well, like, I kinda... make a rule. I don't sit on a cane seat. You know? My marker mm. give, has seen better days. Oh, okay. really? <laughs> okay. What did you say? I, I want to, I, I don't know. I, maybe I went high, but I said $200. I said $125. $150 is what they're worth. Ooh, so wow. Good job, Heather. Okay. All right, next up is a child tea set. And this is a moment in your home. So people do look for them, yes. Okay. You know what? The fact that it is hand-painted and from Germany, Ooh. I went kind of big, I think. I said $175. I went bigger than that. I said $300, Dr. Lori. $500. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, time. Nice. We are nice. tied up right now. We don't have much more time, Dr. Okay. Lori, but we Wait. have. No time, no time, oh, no time. All right, all right. I just, I, I erased it and drew it again. 300 I said $300 too. 250 How but about we're that? Tied. We're tied, so we both win Ooh, today. We and both isn't win. that the best news ever, Dr. Lori? Everybody's a winner, Dr. Lori. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. Always great to see you. And thank you, you to everyone time. for sending us your pictures. You can send yours if you want to. Just email Dr. Lori at PTL at KDKA.com and maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori. Yeah. All right. Guess what? Mikey is here in the studio. <laughs> it is. It's so fun. All right. Again, all of this is happening for free for families. And for the full guide to family friendly events and activities this summer, please visit Kidsburg. Org. We're going to be right back with a check on our like this because it makes it really kind of pretty and then you can do a little bit of arranging afterwards. Mm -hmm. We're going to take them throw uh, this on. Then we're going to take them. That's a giant eagle pound that's cake. That's a pound cake. Yeah, I that's it. That for strawberry shortcake. I was about to say. Yeah, and this so, is the same concept. Okay. Go ahead and, and then put, put that this on. on top with the mm -hmm. watermelon and the berries. All the juices juice. because when it sits, all the juices okay. are going to come out, okay? And then what is this? We're going to That spoon. is sweetened with put some mint on it. Oh. Yeah, nice and fresh because it brightens it up. Yeah. So, um, really and a lot of times people think, oh, this is just for color, but all the flavors really. I haven't yeah. been outside all morning long, so I had no idea. Yeah, that's the wonders Ooh. of AC, but we're going to feel it when we walk outside. Can't wait <laughs> to get that coffee. In today's Something Good, we have the six names of PTL viewers who are going to the pavilion at Star Lake this Thursday to see Thomas Ray. In today's Eye on Health, we're talking about the heart pretty important topic, of course. But it doesn't have to be scary. Did you realize a patient undergoing a heart procedure could actually be back at home the same day? Yeah, it's all thanks to new technology at Allegheny Health Network's Wexford Hospital, and Mikey visited their new cath lab to learn more in today's Eye on Health. How fast that can happen. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, and remember to keep watching for our Eye on Health series right here on PTL. It happens on Wednesdays, and it's brought to you by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield, together with Allegheny Health Network for your good. health. And you can tell, look how much Selena was enjoying it. Well, it's you know so what? Good. Do we want to confess? We were lucky enough to be invited to Rainia's house for dinner one night. It was so lovely. And we and she served that salad. It was magnificent. It was really yeah, good. Really, really good. So get the recipe. And for a copy of it, you can go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have it posted for you there. All right, still to come, a life-saving salad. It was magnificent. It was really yeah, good. Really, really good. So get the recipe. And for a copy of it, you can go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have it posted for you there. 
All right, still to come, a life-saving... The humidity, you can really feel it out there. <laughs> yeah, you can. Right. And you know what? And the weekend looks great, so oh, thank you, Ron. Nice. Well, Heather is excited about what's coming up next. That's because Heather loves this dish, and uh -huh. I do too, actually. Once again, and so are Jill and Jack Sabo, Donnie's Puppy Razors. And so, first off, thank you again for joining us. We love it when you guys are here. Uh, and tell us about the 4th of July. How did that go for Donnie? We had a good weekend. He actually, we were out of town for the 4th of July, so he stayed okay. with another puppy raiser. Well, actually not a puppy raiser. Disturbing for some pets. So that's part of the training too, I have to imagine. Actually, canine companions dogs are not allowed to be around fireworks yeah. because it's too sensitive for their ears. Right. So whenever you go to a 4th of July celebration, we always have to leave before the fireworks start because it's just better it's for better the dogs. It's better for them. Yes. Yeah. It really kind of makes sense it when you think sense. about how animals respond to it. All right, so we have pictures of some of Donnie's friends, some of the other canine companions. <laughs> These are all in our area that we've introduced to you before so let's talk about <laughs> That's how hopefully he works. doesn't watch this <laughs> interesting yeah. all right it's always so great to see you guys thanks for coming in and thanks donnie oh, thanks for coming well. us it's yeah. great to see you guys good to see you oh, too yeah thank you we'll be right back with a check on our local fork